What it do, y'all, man? Welcome back over here to the channel. Um, we just dropped a Candace Owens White Lives Matter uh, reaction. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Definitely, definitely interesting. If you guys have not, before you watch this video, go check out the Candace Owens video. Go watch that. We had some things we had to say in that one, but we wanted to finish it over on this one because that one was damn near an hour long. Right. So we didn't want to make it too long. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Even though almost an hour long is already too long. But we had to come over here and do a separate video because we wanted to really give y'all uh, 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 our thoughts um, about it. Mm -hmm. So with that being said, you want to start off with what you were just saying as far as, um, you know, the you understand what she was saying about the black kids not being educated in school, not learning to read. Right. Uh, she she touched on a lot of things that, as black people, like you, those who have watched our videos, mm -hmm. you know, you we have we have been programmed to think the same, mm -hmm. and and we've learned that thinking otherwise. It, um, you know, you get counted out. Right. And Candace was stating that 80% of black fourth graders, mm -hmm. black male fourth graders, uh, cannot read. Mm -hmm. That is, is so sad. But everyone is focused on, like she said, the White Lives Matter t-shirt. Right. Black people are so quick to get be upset about that T-shirt and not really focused on the issues that's going on in the black community. But when you speak up and speak what's real and what's right in our community, you get a ton of backlash. No one is focused on the real serious issues. Everybody's focused on the T-shirt that her and Kanye wore yesterday. Mm -hmm. That and that's that's the whole it's that's the whole point of wearing that t shirt, I guess, to get to see how people were going to react. Right. And they people reacted how they expected them to react. Mm -hmm. When when there's a, a real life issue in our community mm -hmm. amongst ourselves, mm -hmm. when it's black on black, mm -hmm. no one does anything about it. Right. It get it, it gets celebrated. Right. And, and it's, it's so sad, but we're the coons because we want to better our community instead of constantly celebrating the ignorance, the, you know, the, the street lifestyle. And I, I don't think that's cool. You know, there's so many kids that's been brought up to, to worship jewelry and money and clothes and just all things that are unnecessary. Nobody's really promoting education. And mm -hmm. and if you're so diehard Black Lives Matter, go into these schools and help educate these black kids. Go go and take, take a day, take a week, a month, a year. Sit and educate these kids because they're being taught the same things that we were taught. They're being programmed the same same way we were programmed. Right. And it's so frustrating because I have a nephew and he's only eight. He's eight years old. I have one nephew who I have two nephews that are eight years old. I have one, his mom and dad has really spent and took time with him. And he's so well spoken. He's very educated. Um you know, his parents took time with him. And then I have another nephew that's eight years old where he can't even read, you guys. So that's where I step in. And I, I get him from, we get him from time to time. And I try to, I do what I can. And I can't tell his mother and father how to parent their child. I can only give my advice. And they, you know, they do what they do with him. But... As far as us over here, we try to help him as much as possible. And it's just, it's sad. It's, 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 a, it's sad. And she's stuck. His parents are stuck in that mind, fr that street mind frame. And he, he wants to get tattoos. He wants to, he want, he, oh, he, 
he chipped his he chipped his tooth. Mm -hmm. He chipped his tooth. He wants to get his teeth done. Uh, um, he said he 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 all he he worships the wrong things. He wants money, cars, and he's only eight years old. He's not focused on his on you know coloring and uh, math and reading like. Like I said, there's only so much we can do, but it's just, there's a lot of kids that are growing up in this repeated messed up cycle that we have grown up in. Mm -hmm. So it's just, it's, it's sad. Our commu the black community has to wake up. The black community got to be accountable. And if you're really a die hard, black lives matter, pro black, stop stop with the ignorance stop 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 hating stop being so upset when you when you're you're being told the truth stop mm -hmm. getting mad at the truth just accept it and, and do better just do better and stop getting mad at everybody for telling you the truth and pointing out real issues that really matter right right and you know in case you guys not really understand, you know, what we're kind of like going towards, Candace Owens and Kanye West, which I'm pretty sure the world has know this by now, but they wore a shirt that says Why Lives Matter. So we did a reaction to it, and Candace was speaking on some real true facts. So one of the facts were how uh, this Black Lives Matter movement was going around that was basically a scam, but she's saying, okay, well, if the Black Lives Matter or if black lives truly matter to people or to blacks, right? Then why are there so much black on black crime? Why mm -hmm. does the black community, you know, is the way that they are, um, you know, uh, so on and so on. So she was speaking on some, some really good key points there because, you know, at the end of the day, which, you know, Jay and myself, we have always said this, uh, black lives matter starts in the black community, mm -hmm. period. You understand what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. and that's no shot at nobody of our of our race, but it's just a fact that us as blacks uh, have so much black on black crime that when you go places, certain 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 places that you go, you're you can't really be at ease because you will see another black man that looking at you some type of way because he's feeling whatever he's feeling, that he has to be aggressive with you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That leads to, you know, probably a fight, you know, uh, looking some type of way. Oh, homie, shooting. what's up? Yeah, what you shooting looking at? Over, yeah, shooting, overlook. you know, overlook, whatever the case may be. So, you know, Black Lives Matter starts there. Um, she was saying how, you know, 70%, I think it was, or I can't remember the exact percentage that she was saying. I go back and look at it. But I know she was saying that a lot of black uh, little boys and girls were aborted. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that was mm -hmm. one of the major causes. Matter of fact, she said that there was more black more abortions than, than there births. were births. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. That's sad. You know what I'm but black lives matter to those, you know, die hard pro black people. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like black lives matter, but abortion rates are really high. Yeah. That's 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 crazy, you know. And you know, um it's just it's just it's just, I don't know, man. I'm just different. I'm just I'm just made different. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't I don't get into the race thing because I you know, I truly feel truly I don't, I don't I'm not just saying this though, right? I truly feel that we're all the same. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We just we're we're all we we're all the same. We were all raised different. Raised we're, different, we're yeah. But what I mean by the same, we're all human beings. Oh yeah, we're all. It's humans. just my skin complexion is a little bit darker than yours. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yours a little bit lighter than mine. Mm -hmm. But we all breathe the same air. Mm -hmm. We all eat similar type of food. We all see the same colors. If you know, there's nothing wrong with you know with your you know color size and all that type of stuff. But we're we're just same. We're yeah. created equal. So it's right. kind of like, why does it matter? If somebody, why why is that trending on whatever it's trending on? But like she said, all the other issues that's going on mm -hmm. is not trending. Right. You know what I mean? That's 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 the world that we live in today. It's like 
somebody can put on a t-shirt that offends somebody mm -hmm. and that's going to trend more than more than the real factual you know what issues. i'm saying right that so many black people in chicago probably won't got killed over this last weekend mm -hmm. that ain't nobody talking about right a couple of people don't got killed out here in our hometown mm -hmm. that ain't nobody talking about you know what i'm saying so but that's trending though everybody's focused on those two t-shirts that these two brave people <laughs> yeah. put on you know yeah and people aren't understanding the point they're not understanding like and then she was using the word the, the n-word Mm -hmm. Right, how she was saying how you know us as black people we use that n word. We do. Mm -hmm. I'm guilty of it myself. Oh yeah, everybody. Yeah. A anybody who tunes into us, y'all know. Be real. <laughs> he will call anybody. <laughs> real quick. But <laughs> listening to what she's saying, you know, is is kind of true. What she's saying is it's uh that's the way we came up with it. You know what I'm saying? Like that was we 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 literally took that word mm -hmm. and claimed it. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? Like that's our word. Right. Can't nobody say it. Right. Especially when we first started coming up saying it. Right. Like you couldn't be no other race saying it. Like it was it was a problem. Right. Facts. Now it's like a trend. It's like the thing it's, to say. Right. It's, it's, right, it's, right. It's, a, it's a slang word. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like what up, homie? It's like a slang word like that now. Mm -hmm. So everybody's saying. It. Everybody feels comfortable saying mm -hmm. it. I was playing the guy. The other day online on the Madden, clearly he was a white guy, but he's over there saying the N word. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, what's up? Nick? What the what? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, but she's saying like, so we're calling each other ignorant because the definition of the word is supposed to be an ignorant person, but now the definition has changed. She's saying to it's been a, modified or modified rather mm -hmm. to result back to a black person. Right? What do you mean? Is that what she said? That the word, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the definition before was just, just an ignorant, ignorant person. person. Right. And now, today, it's, you know, it's a... It's the modern a, definition. The modern definition. Um, it only applies to black people. Right. And we're the only ones that can say it. And it's like, it's a trendy thing. But if someone else said it, it's like... Right. <laughs> you don't have the right to say that word. Right. Which I I don't understand because it's just a word, and you know it's right. So I, the, so the N I G G A right, mm -hmm. it says the respelling of N I G G R. So basically, that's what they're saying that the definition of that is. It's the respelling of N I G G E R. No, there is a res a respelling. Of, you know, it's two different spellings for it. No, but but they're saying it's the same meaning, mm -hmm. but spelled differently. That's 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 what I'm getting from that. See, mm -hmm. so that's what you know what I mean. So it's the same word, but just different the spelling of it. That's that's what they're saying. But us as a black community, those those words are separate from each other. Right. That is what I'm saying. Right. Oh, in, yeah. In our, yeah. Yeah. So, you know. But anyway. Because then you put that word in, N-I-G-G-E-R. And see, I when I read that definition before, it, it didn't say that, what it's saying now. Right. So, I don't know if you guys can see that definition. Can y'all see that? But that's what the definition is. Well, just if you can't see it, look up both definitions. Right. The N, N and then it ends in G-A, and then the N that ends in E-R. So right. read those two definitions, and you'll see what we're talking about. Right. Um, Candace, she, she, she said a lot, a lot of things. She says a lot of things that I agree, agree with. Mm-hmm. And she she opens my mind and make me really sit and think about think about things because she also mentioned obesity mm -hmm. and you know black women with black women mm -hmm. and it's like a, a number one killer for us mm -hmm. you know we do we eat unhealthy and and it is being glorified and promoted it is and I I, I 
I know like in other countries, you know, they they cut out a lot of things, a lot of like uh, things that we accept in the United States, other countries don't right. as far as food. Right. So that's why, you know, you see a lot of people from other countries who are slimmer, who are, you know, who are fit because it's not celebrated as much and then they in 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 their food that i don't believe their foods are processed like how our foods are here i hear in some in countries the, that like big people consider a sign of wealth too you know what i'm saying that's why I hear well that i, I heard that too yeah but just being unhealthy period is never nothing to be celebrated right i mean you do like you said you have those people who are heavy heavy heavier people who are you know they they don't have a lot of health complications mm -hmm. but I, unhealthiness should never be celebrated right at the end of the day right, right ever right 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 so but yeah so uh we wanted to get on here man and just could like have a little discussion about the um first and foremost you know the uh the most important fact or issues which is right you know the education you know, the black on black crime, you know, um, the poverty that's going on, you know, um, those are the real issues. You know what I'm saying? But everybody's this, focused on those t-shirts. Yeah, this White Lives Matter t-shirt, you know, I, I, I didn't even know about it until Jay even brought it to my attention. You know what I mean? So that just goes to show how I don't be in tuned into none of the nonsense. And another thing is, you know, and again, I'm guilty myself, right? So... We tend to, like Jay had mentioned, actually in the reaction, we tend to complain about certain things, but don't try to change it, right? Like in our community, right? So you see a pothole, you know, you don't see that pothole since you stayed there for the last right. three years, but you ain't said nothing about it up until you hit it. Mm -hmm. Now, once you hit it, you bust your rim or crack your axe or whatever the case may be. Now it's a problem. Oh yeah, you're so upset, but still don't complain. Still don't complain. Potholes still in the street, or don't know how to complain. Right. If you wanted to. Right. You know what I'm and saying? Lack of education. Exactly. Lack of education. But so. I feel like I feel like in our community, I, I think we need to really get out there and mm -hmm. and like go door to door. Yeah. And tell people like, you know, ask people, do you like the neighborhood that you, that you're living in? Yeah. And if you know if they don't. Give a, tell us your reasons why you don't like it. Right. And then have the number for them to call the city right. to come out and clean up the trash or, right. you know, power wash the, the sidewalk, the right. street. Right. Right. Like, right. Right. I, right. I feel we need to be the difference in our community. Mm -hmm. And anybody that's watching this video, if you if you live in a, a, a neighborhood that's fi filled with poverty and it just looks bad, complain about it. Call your get your get your your neighborhood involved. Call the city and have them come out and and fix the graffiti. The you know whatever is wrong. Have make it a big deal. You don't have to live in poverty. You don't have to live in in the ghetto, the the hood. Like right. it's, it's time for a change, y'all. We're right. in twenty twenty two. And you know when I was younger, I didn't really look at things like as I do now, right? Mm -hmm. And when you really think about it. Mm -hmm. You want to kind of clean your neighborhood up because if you're a hustler, right, and you out there hustling in the neighborhood and all that, and your neighborhood's looking like that, all it's doing is bringing attention, drawing more attention to that neighborhood it, for the police. It, right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So you can't really even get your hustle on like you really, like you really right. want to. You know what I mean? Because you got, you said, the graffiti, the, the crimes going on, mm -hmm. and this, that. Because I remember, like I said, when I was younger, you know what I'm saying? I remember, uh, you know, some. You know, drug addicts used to come, you know, to the block, whatever, mm -hmm. like that. And, mm -hmm. you know, certain homies used to knock them out and take their money, this and that. But mm -hmm. the, the the smart ones was like, why are you doing that? Right. You, right. All you're doing is bringing the heat over mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? You're you going to bring the police over here. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it, 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 it like I say, if, if, if you think about it like that, it's like you will want to have a good neighborhood. You will right. want to have a clean neighborhood. Right. A crime-free neighborhood. Right. So just in case you did want to get a hustle load or something like that. I mean, we still... And it, it's, you know it still happens today. Yeah. People are still hustling. People are still yeah. doing their thing That's in the streets. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. it's just like, why not live in a better neighborhood? In a better neighborhood. Why not? And right. be able to enjoy 
a new car on the road right. instead of having the pavement all rocky and right. pothole filled and right. like why? And like not? I was I was I was I was uh going to get Jay and myself some chicken one time from uh Church's <laughs> you chicken. You always mentioned it. Chicken. Yeah, from Church's hey, chicken. Hey, you we're very st stereotypical. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I love chicken, man. So, I man. do too. I do but too. uh so anyway, I'm coming back, right? And what I hit a damn pothole. Now this ain't nowhere near where we live at. Nowhere near, but I hit a damn pothole. You know what I'm saying? And I'm talking about it shook the heck out of me. I thought it was an earthquake going on. He even caught me. Right. Hot, yelling, you know how I get. Like, you know what I mean? But I'm guilty myself. I didn't call, make no complaint, nothing. You know what I'm saying? So I'm still learning how to become a better person right. myself. Right. You know what I'm saying? To help better my community because it starts with yourself. Right. You know what I'm saying? To help better your community. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. But anyway, we're done with our rant. You got more to say? I think, no, I think we touched on, I think we touched, touched on, on pretty, pretty much everything. Yeah, what we wanted to touch on, really. Yes. Yeah. So if y'all, like have said, if y'all haven't checked out the video with Candace Owens, please do. Please, yes. before you, after this one, right. and you'll see where we're coming from. Right, right. What we're talking about. Right. All right, y'all. So we love y'all. Yes, we do, y'all. You know what I'm saying? And uh, like we always tell y'all, make sure you go out your way. To have a marvelous day. To have a marvelous day. You feel me? Ooh, you like that? Come on. All right, y'all. We go, man. Yes. Peace. Peace.